Lipkin Pettit with the Whiteside County Soil and Water Conservation District. She'll give us information on conservation and how to protect our soil, water, and habitat. Now here is Megan Pettit with Gary Detterman. Well, here we are. We had to fix Megan's microphone. <laughs> Anyway, we've got it straightened out. We are ready to go. Good to see you, Megan. Yeah, you too. Well, you brought in, all, you've got all kinds of things. Let's get started yep. with gardening. So if you're an avid gardener and you've been itching to get out, this is like a good week to go out and add compost. And if it's dry enough, you can start tilling. Uh, historically speaking, our last frost date is somewhere between April 25th and April 29th. Um, but it's always best to check the forecast before you plant anything. You want soil temps, not air temps, soil temps to be in the 40s for lettuce, peas, or spinach, the 50s for onions, turnips, and Swiss chard, the 60s for broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, carrots, beans, and beets, and the 70s for tomato, squash, corn, cucumbers, melons, and peppers. So, Megan, would you just take a thermometer and stick yeah, it in the ground? Can, yeah, you can get a soil thermometer, I think, at most hardware stores. Okay, so a particular soil yeah. thermometer. Okay, yeah. well, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I actually checked the weather. Oh, it's supposed to be in the 70s all this week, and I think it's supposed to be nice next week. So, I'm, I think I'm going to pull all my flower pots out this weekend. Um, my mom always told me I had to wait till after Mother's Day, though, to plant my flowers. And she hasn't steered me wrong yet, so maybe I'll wait till after that to buy them and start planting them. Always best to listen to mom. Yeah, she's, she's a good one. Um, like I said, I might start uncovering my hostas, but those are pretty tough to kill. So <laughs> I, I think it'll be okay if I do a little too early on them. Uh, you can actually scatter some poppy seeds for early summer flowers uh, now and you can start to trim or cut down your ornamental and native grasses um, and then you can plant strawberries but you want to pinch off all the first year flowers to get a stronger root system we actually have ornamental grass and i, I cut those down the last couple yeah. of weeks so they're yeah. ready to go and then, of course the the hostas they take care of themselves they're yeah. starting to pop up out yeah. of the ground right now and yep um, i've also got some native flowers um i think i've got some spider wart that's starting to come up too okay now you have you live on an acreage right or like an acre and a half an acre and a half so you got quite a bit of a space actually yeah, a little, yeah. not enough but yeah <laughs> how big is your garden I don't have one because I'm have a, a garden? terrible gardener. Well, you're, now, here you are talking about I know, gardening and you don't I have know. a garden. I would like to do a raised garden bed, okay. but that might be a project for next year. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Wildlife is another thing we want to touch upon today. Yeah. So, it's April. It's turkey season, and uh, male turkeys are actively looking for mates, so you'll start to hear them gobble. I've been actually hearing a lot of them around the house. Uh, and this might be a slight tangent. I ordered some turkeys, and I get them May 5th. And someone asked me if I was going to eat the turkeys or eat the eggs. And I was like, well, I'm going to eat them. They're going to be my Thanksgiving dinner. And But I looked into it because I was like, why don't we eat turkey eggs? Uh, they're very similar to chicken eggs. They taste very similar. They're just a little bit bigger, and the, shul, sh, the, sh, the shells and the membranes are a little bit thicker. Um, but typically, turkeys only lay about two eggs a week, where a chicken will lay about an egg a day, a duck too. Um, and they need a longer amount of time before they start laying. So they don't lay until seven months. Chickens will start to lay around five months, and ducks start to lay around six months. Of course, everybody then, has chicken eggs, and I've heard of people having duck eggs as well. But yeah, yeah never turkey eggs. Yeah, so I, that's, that's, I was curious. Um, and then in a factory setting, they require a lot more space than chickens. Um, and then the feed costs are astronomical, so it costs a lot more to feed them, and then you have to feed them for longer. So the article that I was actually looking at said, it comes to be about three dollars per egg so i know that my extra eggs i sell for three dollars a dozen so that's quite a big difference um makes sense why we don't eat turkey eggs so now what made you decide to get turkeys outside of having one for thanksgiving i just wanted to raise my own turkey for thanksgiving dinner <laughs> okay and, and now of course the turkeys you buy in the store they're 
you know, plumper yeah. and a lot juicier. Yeah. So uh, what are you anticipating from your turkey? I think they're going to taste better than the ones in the store. Really? My chickens taste better than the ones in the store. So. Okay. I don't know. I think they're just, they'll be a lot fresher and taste a little bit better. Again, we're visiting with Megan Pettit yeah. from Whiteside County. So do you consider yourself a pretty good cook, Megan? My boyfriend will tell you yes. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> that is good to hear. We're talking about deer right yeah. now. Yep. I jumped around on this one. That's okay. So since it's spring, the deer are starting to grow antlers. And their antler growth is regulated by hormones that are controlled by day length. So right now the antlers are going to be covered in velvet and then during the late spring and summer months they are vulnerable to injury and cuts and bruises and those will often result in deformities. And then by late August or early September their growth is complete and as the velvet is rubbed off it's polished just in time for breeding season and deer season. Makes sense. You got to look your best. Yeah, yeah. And so I was looking into the article about antlers, and it was really, I, I learned a lot. Um, something interesting was that if a deer is has a front leg injury, it will result in a deformation of that side of the antler. But if it's a rear leg injury, it'll be the opposite side of the antler will be deformed. That is which interesting. is interesting. Yeah. So now, it, visiting with you the few times that I have, it, it seems like you do a lot of research. Yeah. You like to do a lot of reading. Yep. I like to. I like to know that what I'm saying is accurate. So where do you get your information? Do you go online, or do you go to the library, or what do you do? The internet. You go to the all, internet. All of huh? it's online. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. What about uh, coyotes, foxes, raccoons? So they're all starting to have their young. And then baby great horned owls will start hatching in April. Typically their eggs are laid from mid-February to late March and they are sat on for 30 to 37 days. So I would assume, you know, mid-April we might have some baby great horned owls. And then it's also getting to the start of, I found these babies, what do I do season? Just remember, leave them alone or just keep an eye out the mom is probably there, especially in the case of fawns. Mom is around. She'll come back. Um, and a lot of those baby bunnies, baby bunnies are like the most rescued animal. And if if they're covered in hair and their eyes are open, they're fine. They'll, they'll be okay. My mom always said um, when she was little, she tried to rescue a baby bunny, and it was a wild bunny, and she's like, it didn't make it. I'm like, yeah. Okay, they're fine. It's okay. Um, and then... Yeah, you don't want to get the ire of mom, especially no. deers. Yeah, she'll, she'll get you. Yeah, they're right. They're, yep. they, they can be pretty aggressive when it comes yeah. to their young. Uh, mallards start laying eggs about mid-March until the end of July. Typically, they lay 9 to 12, and then it takes 20 to 30 days of sitting on them. So we'll have some baby ducks hatching at the end of April, hopefully. And there's nothing cuter than baby ducks. I actually pick up six more baby ducks next Friday. I can't wait. Those are a little bit different, though. So you've only got an, a little bit of an acre there. Yeah. It sounds like... I'm maximizing you, it. You're, yeah, it does sound like you're maximizing. So you got turkeys. Yep. You've got chickens. Mm -hmm. yep. You've got ducks. So it's, is I, it primarily I, poultry? Do nope. You? I've got goats and donkeys and a little mini horse, too. Goats and donkeys? Yeah. I have four donkeys. I was going out Highway 136 yesterday, and this farm, they have, like, miniature horses mm -hmm. and sheep. And the sheep were actually bigger than the horses. Yeah. It was kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, I have a little mini horse, too. Um, so now do you have, like, a little wagon? And then you can have no. the horse pull the wagon? you got to get a no. little wagon and have he's, the horse pull the wagon. He's broke to ride, but I don't have any kids. So he just yeah, he's you're not just a little pasture to, ornament right yeah, now. <laughs> pasture ornament. So now with the goats, um, goats milk at all? I mean, do you have a she goat? So all of our bo goats are boys. Okay. Um, I guess my boyfriend was not raised on a farm. So when he bought goats, he bought all boys. And I was like... <laughs> They can't do anything for us, but okay. <laughs> They're going to be our pets. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So how long have you had the goats? Um, about a year now. Okay. And one of them is actually just like a dog. He'll just 
follow us all over the yard. So what is the lifespan of a goat? Like a, a dog think, is usually 12, 13, yeah. 14, right around there. I think when I looked it up, it was like 8 to 10 years. So we'll have them for okay. a while. All right. No cows? No, I would like mini Highland cows. Oh, okay. I call it Meg's Mini Farm, so all my animals are small. <laughs> so I would like some mini Highland cows. It's <laughs> a good idea. So uh, what else have we got? A chick season. It is chick season. There's a lot of chicks and ducks in the feed stores, and it seems like they're selling out really quickly. Um, so if you spontaneously picked up, you know, some baby ducks or baby chicks, and you decide that you don't want them, don't let them go because like the ducks that you buy at the feed store are not going to make it in the wild um they're typically heavier ducks their wings are smaller um plus they've been raised in captivity so they're used to people they're used to pets um they're they're not going to be be able to get away from predators and they're typically going to go towards predators um so they're they're not going to make it. It's best to just find someone to take them. Yeah, they're not going to be real good in the wild. No. And I guess it's actually a problem. So when I looked it up, it's called duck dumping. I guess it happens a lot in cities. You'll find domestic ducks in ponds um, with wild ducks that uh, typically they're not going to make it. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I guess it's a, it's a, actually a pretty big problem. Yeah, we've got uh, Schlecht Hatchery up in Miles. Uh, they're a good sponsor mm -hmm. here on KROS. I know they do a great business up there. Yeah. So, again, Megan Pettit uh, will visit with you again. Let's see. Yeah. Check out the calendar. It looks like it's going to be May 9th yeah. when you will next be in. It will be close to Mother's Day. Yep. So you can do all your flowers. All the flower so you planting. Can take those outside. So what else do you think we'll be talking about when we get into May? Hmm, that's what a else good are you going to be looking up on the internet? Well, I might give a planting update because planting is going to start sometime in April. Um, I don't know. Okay. I typically don't know until before I come. I like to fly by the, the day, seat of my pants. The day before, possibly. Yep. <laughs> so, if people would like to find out more information about the Whiteside County Soil and Water yep. Conservation Department, how can they do that? Uh, the, our phone number is 815 772 2124, and we are at extension 3. All right, thank you so much for coming yep. in. We'll thank catch you, you on May 9th. Yeah. The Whiteside, Whiteside County Soil and Water Conservation District Program with Megan Pettit is heard at 9.15 a.m. on the second Tuesday of every month on FM 105.9 and AM 1340, KROS.